What's up everybody, King of Oma here coming at you with your daily crypto update. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Arbitrum mainnet and how to get on it. So without further ado, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Let's get into it right away. And then I'll talk a little bit more about the price of Ethereum and how other things can be affected by this Arbitrum mainnet launch. So Arbitrum, just to quickly go over this, what it does is it simply makes the transactions on Ethereum a lot cheaper than they are right now. Um, you do have to move over to a layer two, sort of like adding a uh, adding another network for Binance Smart Chain or Polygon, but this one is sort of on the Ethereum um, chain, and on top of that, it doesn't have its own token yet. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the website arbiscan.io. I'll leave that in the description below. Um, now I know that there's been tons of other new wallets that have been released like Coin98 and many many others. So if you have a lot of wallets on your browser already, you're going to have to make sure that you disable a lot of them so that MetaMask is the first wallet that's red. Otherwise clicking this button might not do anything. But you scroll down to the bottom of the screen on Arbiscan, on Arbiscan and you click on the Add Arbitrum from a network button and that's going to give you a prompt to add the network to the system since I already did it I'm I'm not going to do that right now and that's the first step the next step is to move your funds over to the Arbitrum chain um, so if you have ethereum on layer one you're simply just going to move your ethereum from layer one to layer two now you might not want to do this right away as you're watching the video and you'll see why in a little bit but this will make things a lot cheaper in the long run if you're doing things with smart contracts with nfts or with trading on uh, decentralized exchanges. So simply like this, uh, if I wanted to deposit 0.1 Ethereum, I do this, I deposit it. Now you're going to have to eat a little bit of a fee up to move from layer one to layer two over here on Arbitrum, but it will be worth it in the end of the day. So once you confirm that and it gets confirmed on the Ethereum blockchain, uh, it has to be a, a confirmed on the Arbitrum blockchain. For me, it took maybe five minutes uh, for it to go through overall. And once your funds are on the Arbitrum blockchain, I'm just going to switch over to the other network real quick here. So I'm on the Ethereum mainnet. And let me find the Arbitrum mainnet right here. You'll see that I did move over 0.1 funds a little bit earlier and everything will be reflected as so. So moving on, so what can you do with this? So let's go over to Uniswap. Now, since I'm on the Arbitrum, Arbitrum mainnet already, Uniswap already switches over. If I switch back to Ethereum, you'll see it switch back to Ethereum but um, it says everything on here. So if I wanted to do a trade over here, I'll show you guys what the fee difference is. So if I wanted to trade 0 .0, uh, let's see, 0 0.08 Ethereum for the Uniswap token. Um, so I'm gonna get nine Uniswap tokens from doing this. And if I swap this, now I'm not actually gonna complete the swap, but I wanna show you guys right here if I swap this, and we're going to see what the fee is. So the fee is 0.003295 Ethereum. Now that is approximately 0.003295 Ethereum. It's approximately $11, which is still a good amount. But if you compare it to the amount that's being charged on the Ethereum mainnet. So let me move over to the Ethereum mainnet. Um, so I'm going to basically cancel and reject this transaction and go to the Ethereum mainnet. If we were to do the exact same trade on Ethereum, so let me go over here, we're trading ETH for the Uniswap token. Uh, we're gonna do 0 0.08, should, should be about the same amount of uh, Uni that I'm getting back from here. Uh, but once this loads, you'll see that the transaction fee is significantly higher. Uh, so ETH for Uniswap, uh, might be, get, a, get a better price on version two, so we can do that, but nonetheless, when we hit confirm swap here, and this is what the Arbitrum mainnet is doing, why people are excited for it right now, you'll see that the transaction fee is actually $72. So it's seven times higher doing this on the Ethereum mainnet. Um, so a lot of people will probably be moving over to the Arbitrum uh, mainnet to do things like trading. Um, however, since this, this did just launch within the past 24 hours on mainnet, um, it's not super profitable to do it right now because uh, everybody else has to move liquidity over to the Arbitrum mainnet. So uh, let me just show you guys. I gotta switch back over to the Arbitrum mainnet and we'll see uh, Uniswap. And I'll just 
do it so I can show you guys live right here. Uh, but this is the, the pools for Uniswap on the Arbitrum Layer 2 mainnet. And you'll notice that there's really no coins that are added over here right now. So, um, I mean, Uniswap is there because it's, the, it's the main token. But if you're looking at other tokens, they there just might not be any liquidity or you might get some really bad slippage from doing it. So you have to wait a few days for everyone to migrate over to Arbitrum. And I'm, I'm assuming that a lot of coins will do that for you to get good prices and better transaction fees overall. And the same case goes with NFTs and other smart contracts in general. Uh, you're going to be wanting to do a lot of this stuff on the Arbitrum mainnet as opposed to using the Ethereum mainnet and paying. What you saw right there, that was about seven times higher fees. Um, other things that you can do, you can go over to SushiSwap. SushiSwap also has this integrated, but again, you're going to have the same problem with pools and liquidity not really being there right now as of the release of this video. Uh, maybe there is some if you're watching this video in the future, but um, as of the first day of Ar Arbitrum, uh, there's not that much liquidity anywhere else. Now, what is this going to do in the crypto world in general? You'll notice that the price of Ethereum today has went up significantly, and that's a lot probably has to do with Arbitrum. Uh, being launched up 9.2% and since there is no Arbitrum token um, one of the tokens that's sort of tied to Arbitrum partnerships are happening between Arb the Arbitrum team and Chainlink um, that's another reason why the Chainlink token has gone up a pretty good amount 7% today and uh, we, sh we should see a lot of growth in a lot of other layer 2s like Polygon and Binance Smart Chain and Solana as well just the DeFi space in general um, the more of these protocols that get that gets used, the cheaper transaction fees will be everywhere. Um, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on and to know how to do. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand how Arbitrum works, how to connect to the network, and how to trade over there. Normally I release all of my videos um, for the general public about two days later uh, than everyone else. If you want to support the channel and hopefully I can make more videos like this, more simple tutorials for you guys, head on over to my Patreon and you will get all of my main videos up to two to three days earlier than everyone else on Patreon. And then everyone else will get on YouTube two or three days later. And you'll get access to my Discord community where we're going to talk about a lot of this crypto stuff. But looking forward to seeing kind of what waves can make with Arbitrum. This is something that a lot of people have been looking forward to as well as um, Ethereum 2.0 launching in the beginning of next year. Uh, we should see a lot of price action happening with all of this stuff combined as DeFi and crypto in general gets cheaper for people to transact with. So it's just it, like to me, it's just a waiting game, a patience game. But I can get off onto my spiel. I don't want to get off on a spiel that's too long here. I wanted to keep it short. And hopefully, that tutorial helps you guys understand how to connect to Arbitrum and get into this whole thing. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. And again, if you want to support me and get these videos early, head on over to Patreon and select a level there. Peace out.